We all know that pivot tables are extremely useful in analyzing data, but did you know that you can create a frequency distribution with a pivot table? It's true. I've got this data set here. It's got city, state, and population. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to create a frequency distribution using this data set, but I'm not going to use analysis tool pack or any other formulas. I'm going to use a pivot table. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a pivot table. So I'll place my cursor inside my data set, click on insert, pivot table. Everything looks fine here, so I'll press OK. So this basically creates my pivot table along with my pivot table field list. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to take population, which is a number field, and actually put it in my row labels. Now this may seem strange, and it really is, because typically you don't put numbers or values inside of the row field. But here's what we're going to do. We're going to take these numbers now, and we're going to group them into bins. I'm going to right-click on this number, or any one of these numbers, click on Group, and a grouping dialog box will pop up. So here, we're going to say starting at a certain number, let's say 0, and ending at, let's say, 100,000. We're going to analyze this data, putting these numbers into groups of 5,000. And I'm going to press OK. Now what the pivot table does is it automatically groups these guys into bins. So you'll have these groupings. Now what I can do is choose a state or a city and bring that into the values field. And it automatically turns into a count of city because it's textual. So now what we can see here is a frequency distribution that says the large majority of the cities in my data set have a population of 0 to 4,999. And then, of course, I can see each individual categorization and how many cities fall into those categorizations or bins. Now what I can do is click on this pivot table, click on Insert, and I'll insert a column chart. And essentially, I've created a histogram from this data set. And what's so great about this setup is that if I'm not happy with the way the data looks or I'm not happy with my bins, I can simply come back to the pivot table, right-click on the row labels or any one of the row labels, click on Group, and just change the categorizations. So maybe I do want to start it at 0, but I want to end it at 20,000. And I want to categorize it by every 1,000 population, so changing my bins. I'll press OK and I get a view that looks a bit more reasonable.